Legacy of the Vikings, everyone. Welcome back to the EU4 Let's Play of Sweden. And everyone, I don't. I sometimes forget to remind you guys, and you know, it's not really that big of a deal. But if you guys could like leave a comment, rate, and subscribe down there in the comments, and like a like down there, and you know, a subscribe, wink, wink. <laughs> It really does help me to know what you guys really want to see and what you guys want to see more of. And personally, we just had another like good high moment right now where we're at war, we're at war for no particular reason than to be at war. And now, and now our basic friends, the the Lithuanians, are now going to mess it up by not being at war. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. As you guys can see, I'm not particularly excited about about these events but the good thing is guys the good thing that I can get out of this is that we have now have a lot more cores onto our friends of of Denmark because right now we are coring them like crazy and we're almost basically finished up with them but I must be honest we're basically gonna finish up with them in a couple of years which means in a couple of years we'll just be able to annex Sweden in just one big gigantic war but for now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to go go to war with Norway I'm going to actually uh, stop the trading power here or you stick them in port because I already know I'm, I'm an experienced gamer I'm oh excuse me guys who you guys with Cornwall? Yeah, Cornwall's not gonna do anything. Let's let's be real here. Um, but I already know from my own things. I already know that this is gonna be a pretty bloody war. So I expect a lot. Teutonic Order just went through some kind of crisis. I don't know what just happened, but they got their butts destroyed. So, well, I don't really need him in this war to be honest with you. I just need to make sure that whatever war Lithuania is in, he better win it. Because I am not really going to be focusing on it. Anyways, I'm getting side dis I'm getting distracted, guys. Um, basically, we're going to go to war with Norway. We have no coali coali coalitions against us. So we can just uh, wait, take this. And like I said, what we're going to be taking in this war is Algier, Beres, Edisleva, and this. That way we can surround the capital. And that way next time we can just annex, get the capital, and then court. And then we have all of them. No, go on. Yay. I mean, not go off, go off. We have all the stuff we need from Scandinavia. I'm guessing not many of my allies will join in. Lithuania, yes. Lithuanian, oh yeah, no. I don't really care. I could do this by myself, anyways. <laughs> I'm just gonna get. I'm gonna first take an easy. What? Wait, do I not have a core on that anymore? That's. It's kind of detrimental that I have a core on these things. What? Oh, don't tell me cores. Uh. Okay, you know what? I'll just declare war and we'll fight out whatever we fight out. They're not, they're not basically, they're not anywhere near as PT or as strong as me. So, I'm not really expecting much of a war. Just, I have to just go crush that 5k army right there and we're basically done. Like, seriously, we're basically done with that. Where I can spread out all my troops and we can just like, conquer the rest of this. I mean, I'm not really, oh great, I completely forgot about that. That might be a problem right there. Just go the long way. Just go the long way. And I'm going to wait for you guys to get into your position so I can go attack you. And we're basically, like I said, just going to attack and just generally go destroy the uh, mighty no Novgorodians. While I'm just bored and... Holy shit. Were you still honestly in a, in a coalition against me? What? I thought I canceled that. Oh, it's on. You are getting destroyed. Wait, can I call on some of my ally? Well, most of my allies are actually pretty busy, so. Yeah, okay. Somehow, some way, Sweden got an alliance without me noticing. And so, now I'm at war with, with Denmark again. Yeah, they just never cease to disamaze me, do they, guys? They just never cease to disamaze me. I, I feel like this should be a rule that I will, after I become Scandinavian, I'm erasing it. 
I'm erasing the Danish culture from their face of existence, like, seriously. Just erasing them. They are never going to be in it anymore. I should have vastly superior tech, though. So it won't be that hard to, like, reclaim most of this. But I'm going to use these guys to go siege down this stuff. This army's going to go basically be my destroy army. We're going to go destroy as much as we can. Okay, it shouldn't, like I said, it shouldn't be too hard to defend myself. Molster might be a little bit of a prop. Wait, Molster's not actually in this war. It's only Cornwall. And Cornwall, I have no... I, I don't care. Even if they do try to land troops, I'll be able to defeat them. So, that's not really the problem. Okay, I'm going to go put my troops on the Flynn. I want to make sure I get some of my cores back. Didn't really... Why did... Okay, you guys better be there. Okay, go right here. Go to the capital. Crush these guys. And then we're going to go after our next Denmark troops. Influential preacher! Send him to Rome! Or... Let's send him to Rome. Why not? Let's get some more papal influence. Even though I don't really care about the Pope. <laughs> it's... it's Kind of like, yeah, people influence. Ah, you guys are still not dead. Die. I'll be sending two armies after you. Good to see. Hard semen. Wait, did I read that? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Now that I'm thinking about that, I, I thought that said hard. How are these guys escaping me? Okay, anyways, just go to Trundelag. Hunt them down. I don't care how you guys reach them. Just kill them. Seriously, just destroy that army outright. I don't want to see it anymore. Like I said, I don't want to see that army anymore. Destroy it. Destroy it. Thank you. Okay, now that we destroyed the army, go down here. Go destroy this Scandinavian army. Or, I mean, this Denmark army. Around. Well, they are technically Scandinavian, so I don't have to apologize for messing up that. Now we can start building actual mortars. Any others we can build? Eh, that, that kind of fits us. We're more of an attack kind of style, if I must be honest with you. Okay. Uh, holy shoot, they just raised a gigantic army against me. Since they have none. I'll deal with that in a second. Um, let's see, my force limit is at max. So I'm going to have to decrease some of my troops eventually. Um, let me go destroy... Let me go destroy this Denmark army. Because they're going to be the most troublesome. Because they have... Like, the most amount of troops. Like, legitimately, they have the most amount of troops. So, if I just destroy these guys right now, before they have a chance to, like, really do anything. And then, these guys are just going to be troublesome. Okay. Destroy them. Just outright just Like, let me get my good general. Where's my good general? I know he's somewhere around here. Is it... No, it's not him. Dang it, I can't actually... Dang it! Okay, well, you guys just attack! Attack! Crush him! Crush them! Crush them all! Nobles are worried! That's always a good sign when the nobles are worried, but it's okay, nobles. I got this completely underneath my control. Like, seriously, no, I've go none of these guys are going to beat us. L let's be real here. Okay. So, Battle of Sleswig. Okay, I can basically divide my troops at this point. Let's go destroy the rest of these guys. And we're basically going to get control over all of um, Denmark in the process. Like, it wasn't my intention to get all of control of Denmark. In fact, I was waiting. For, I was gonna wait a long time to go to war with Denmark, but that's fine. We could go to war right now. It's not. It's not really affecting me anytime soon. Um, we should also, after this point, I'm gonna delete all my um, rest of my mercs. And I'm gonna use that money to uh, basically uh, use that to make cannons. All my mercs would become cannons. I think that will help my soldiers significantly in the war effort. Okay, now let's go kill, let's go conquer this stupid capital. Finally, and I'm doing this all by myself. Sweden is completely independent from any other place. This is what I love, is that I'm completely independent from every other country. And I'm able to take on nations like Denmark, Norway, and all of them easily. Like, I'm not even really... Like, let's be honest here, I'm not really raising a finger. I'm just kind of like, yeah... Yeah, I'm, I'm just conquering them. The Battle of Arcarius. I didn't even know what happened there, but okay. And it seems like they have two main producer places. So once these guys are done, I'm going to go send them on a shipment. And I'm going to go send them to this little island right here so we can kill these guys before they start making like a 610 army or something like right crazy right there. Okay. Um, 
Let's see, they have two right there. That's not too many. We can still deal with that. Besides, they can't really raise much more than their than what they already have. You see, like Denmark's done. I've 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 already copped out Denmark. Denmark I could easily just annex at this point. It's not even gonna be really a challenge. Not even. Not even. I mean we are this war is going too good and it's it's too perfect. It's too bad I cannot fully and I, I, I really I'm almost tempted to just take an infamy hit or a major annexation bonus. Cause I could oh, I could almost finish out the entire Uh sorry guys. I'm I'm just thinking of this. I could finish out the entire like you know conquest thing if I do this. You guys that are fours, you guys go this way. Go kill the rest of those guys. But yeah, I can finish out the rest of my conquest with all this land. And then, you know, quickly form Scandinavia so I don't get like a bonus. But then again, I'd have like a major penalty with every other nation. Every other nation would be looking at me like crazy, evil, evil person. Would that be worth it though? I'll have to decide when I get to that point. Let me just destroy more no let me just destroy more Novgorod troops. Okay. Palace of Ed. You guys almost done yet? Okay, I'm gonna have to wait for these guys to heal. Oh, I'm using a Merc too, dang. Okay, and you guys are going to Trundelag. The siege, yay! Yay, the siege I wanted to finish. Okay, now I'm gonna set you guys on to oh wait. All you guys travel together. You guys are all a big, gigantic, happy family. Get all... We don't want you to die. I really got build more shit. <laughs> my military is... My militaristics are kind of pathetic, but... Okay, I'm gonna quickly load them up. Luckily, I can see where the, uh... I can... Luckily, guys, what I'm thinking is that I don't want that gigantic... 12 army to come over here and kill me so I'm just trying to stay out of range right now okay and now where are they where's that gigantic 12 army uh, 12 ships like cuz that's really scary those 12 ships are really scary well I sh I'm seeing all the southern coast so I'm assuming they're nowhere near me so I'm going to just slightly move my troops in conquer verbatim okay all right. Uh, let's see. Yes, the Battle of Trundelag. Stop. Battle of Trundelag. Just follow them upwards. I right, have another siege. All right, you guys go down here. And we're just gonna completely annex these guys. Well, I'm debating it heavily. Like, uh, you guys don't know how much I'm debating it. Okay. I want to get to my troops. Transport. There we go. Go destroy the island dwellers. This might actually be a really good defense because I do have... I do have a negative bonus right now. Says wig. Okay, now that we're done with that, now we can just go up here. Time to go all over here. And I just realized that we have no missionaries. It means that we... No, we haven't finished up over here. We just pretendly don't want to show the missionaries. Okay. And let's see, see how we do in this battle. Come on, I'm waiting. I'm so waiting for this. Yes! We destroy them. Okay. Everyone get on here, and we're just going to go back to shore. Now we have, we have Denmark completely underneath our control. And let's see, are they the war leaders in this? No, Norway is. They're... Sort by war esteem. Corwell's high... War exhaustion for us. Wow, we are just doing great right now. We're just like, yeah, we don't care. <laughs> we're just like, yeah. Okay. Let's see. We're going to sue for peace for you guys. And basically what we want is this, 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 and this. Oh, wait. Get back to this. Sorry. Sorry. Messed up. I, I still can't claim the capital. This, this, this. Oh dang, I cannot, oh dang, I cannot get full annexation yet. Alright, let's get as much as we can in gold. I could just like, could I like make them into a personal union? Release nations, 
return calls, revoke calls, secede provinces. Can I like make these guys a a puppet? No, I don't. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think I can. So, anyways, this should be good for my demands. Okay, good. I'm glad these guys accepted reason. So, now, basically, guys, it's just me and Norway. It's just me and Norway now. Like, where are my ships? Where are my ships? I need to... Okay, where are my ships? Where are my ships? Okay, I'm gonna have to wait a second. But yeah, guys, we just conquered another part and now have gained a firm stronghold in the Danish lands. Which means I'm also gonna have to call this stuff quickly before before something bad inevitably happens. Is that a mill okay. If they just randomly go to war with us again, I'm seriously gonna take the opportunity to to annex them. Like I I'm okay, let's get this. Let's get this. Yeah, okay, and then you guys go pick up these troops, and then we're just gonna go occupy Norway. Cause then, cause then they can't do anything about it. We basically destroyed their only ally that was gonna be of any help. And now next time, next time we go to war with them, they're basically all of ours. Cause I am not, uh, I'm doing like maybe one or two more wars with both Norway, De Norway and Denmark, and then I'm done. Because this is, we don't need to be doing this forever, like seriously, we don't need to be doing this forever and ever and ever. Nah, we don't. Okay, so what I need to be doing, let's see, how are my relationships with everyone around me? You guys are good, you guys kind of need some love. So let's start improving relations, improve our relations. Okay, how are you guys, living in order? You guys are still pretty good. Okay, so yeah, everyone else still not, still not hating us, still not liking us. My king, something alliance, Norway. <laughs> That's how I'm kind of reading these events now. It's just kind of like something alliance, Norway. Oh no, ish. Okay, actually, let's go make sure we destroy the rest of... I just want to make sure that this army is dead. So we don't have to deal with it anymore. Um, gain accumulated economy. Yay! Gain so many ducats for that. Okay, now what's our next goal? Achieve religious unity. What? Missionaries succeed when the following criteria is met. Have 100% unity. That will take a long time. Like our unity right now in terms of religiously. Reform desire. Where's our religious unity? Well, actually. Uh, it would take a long time to convert all these provinces to orthodoxy. But. It might actually be possible. Uh, we could try it. We can at least try it. I won't. I won't say it's possible, but we can at least give it a uh, you know a hundred percent you know attitude at least. That's what I think. And apparently, all my advisors died without me ever knowing. So national revolt risk. Uh, how much does it? Holy shit! This guy costs a lot. Uh, yearly inflation. Was well, that not really? This guy would be so good, but yet he's also really expensive. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm I'm sorry, guys. I'm still not rich enough yet to, to like, global trade power spy offense. Why not? Let's get the spy offense guy. Still looking for how cheap they are. Military, uh, land modifier, discipline. Uh, fortress defenses. Don't really need it right now. Land force limits modifier. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now we have a maximum amount of people. Does that mean we're making not much money anymore? No, nah, we're still making a good amount of money, even though we have a... What? We have inflation? Dang it, what did I do? Dang it, what did I do? What did I do? Probably from all the wars that we did. Oh, probably all, the, all, all this overextension that I'm doing right now. <laughs> That's probably where most of this whole idea of war came from. And now I basically trapped the last two of Norway's troops inside. Right here, guys. You know, somebody play some epic last stands, la epic last stand music. Because I'm about to do an epic last stand. I'm also going to be building a little bit more. Let's see. Um, temples, armory, dock, dry dock. 
Constable Market. Could basically finish up the marketplace. Dry dock. Dock. Local trade power. Local trade power would be pretty important. Uh, tax income. I mean, temples are good, but they're also kind of like bad in the sense that if you want to switch from being Protestant to being that, you're going to have to do a lot. Alright, let's start doing this a lot. There we go. That many forts, that many armories around here, we should start gaining some decent amount of population. Uh, I know we have, I know we have decent amount of manpower right now, but we don't have enough to where I want it. Lose stability. <laughs> I'm not losing my tax modifier for, for you guys, sorry. That's just not gonna happen. Holy shoot, we have low stability right now. I just realized that. We just lost a battle against Nov Novgorod. No, wait, no we didn't. Trundelag. We just cannot finish them, I don't think, so we're gonna have to combine. I think we're gonna have to combine everyone head at this place. I can't even pronounce it, but once we combine them at this place, I think it'll go much smoother. Oh, and you guys should be divided. What am I doing? Because now, we don't really need to be, like, focusing on the men. So let's see, you guys are going to are going to combine, and then we're going to go crush that army. CRUSH IT INTO OBLIVION! Wahaha! Yay, the siege of Algier is over. Why wouldn't I just move the men, too? Let me go right here. Oh, my goodness. And then, no way. It's time for you to die. Bro, it's time for you to die. I've had about enough of you, no way. Seriously, I've had about enough. It's time for you to be either annex. Well, I can't annex you, I don't think, outright. But I can at least... Maybe I could do, like, a personal union and then annex you slowly. But that would take so dang long. Oh, my goodness. Alright, you guys are done, too. Move up to here to Trundelag. Yundelag, or maybe it's called. Boost stability. That way we have... Two stability. That should help with our e economics a little bit better. That should help with... Let's see, you guys are just... Let's see, we want to stop them. S the Siege of Lawland is over. Was I still sieging this? Oh! Oh, Cornell actually... What? They actually sent troops over here? Dang, risky. Risky. Oh, they actually have a decent fleet, too. Okay. Could I take him? Oh, yeah. We could take him. If I'm fully supporting my fleet for, like, a couple of weeks, we could de definitely take him. Now, let me just stay right here for a second. Because we want to make sure that we destroy Cornell. Let's go. Do-do-do-do-do-do. Die! Die, you Cornell fleet! Die! Kill them! Kill them! Kill them! Kill them! Oh, the Battle of Trudelong went well. We finally destroyed the rest of their army. Yes, we finally destroyed the rest of their army. Good. Okay, we're gonna... Now we're just gonna spread out the rest of these guys. These men. Um... Seems like the Battle of, of the Sea has just been won by us. Which is really sad because if we actually win a battle, that's really sad. Okay, now we're gonna move our troops over here. For, with with our great general, with our general, it should be able to win. We should be able to beat these guys pretty handily. Like, it should not even be, really be a challenge. We are losing some money a year. We're also going to move over here. We're also going to siege back our provinces so that they're not winning anything. Alright, we're not going to siege them down because that's a little bit too much. Okay, we got our cores back. We almost got a core of Mij Mijland. Which will help with our some of our problems that we have, like religion-wise. Well, not religion-wise, core-wise. So they'll actually start giving us money. Ah, oh, they're still alive, really? Kill them! I don't want to see one more. If I see one more stupid Norway troop, that's gonna annoy the heck out of me. It's going to annoy the heck out of me. We have some. Why are you guys over here? I don't think you guys joined the war. Yeah, it's just me against everyone else, and I'm crushing it right now like I am the main the siege of Elsa is finally over I am crushing it there is no one else in this war okay let's see so you guys are done move up to Trundelag I mean Havagrad it should be finishing up here soon 
I'm. Are you guys all mercs? Cause if you guys are all mercs, I want to just destroy you guys outright. Cause I don't really want to stay here and just siege it. Oh my goodness! I did not pay attention to Cornell. So Cornell actually did something. A call to all. I'm still at war with these other guys. Okay. It's. Oh wait, these were these guys. Hey guys, you want us to get out of the war yet? Seriously, we don't. We don't want to be in this war at all. Like, I'll concede defeat. How about I concede Lolan? No, they don't even want that. What do you guys want from me? I mean, my ally is going to be... Ah, shyster. Now, here come the zealots. Here come the extremely paranoid zealots. Good thing I have an army already over here waiting to go kill off these guys. All right. Yeah, we have to make sure this does not fall. This is only 67% almost there. Did we just lose our military lines for you guys? Ah, uh, yep, we lost our military lines for you guys. That's actually good, because then I actually wanted to start, um... To be honest with you, I actually wanted to start coring all of these guys, and they kind of just made it easier for me. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> it it kind of worked out in the end that you guys did that. Okay, so I basically think I have enough what I, of what I want. You guys, we're going to sue for peace, because you guys are basically gone. Let, let's be real here. I want Algea. I want this, and I want this. That way, if I surround you guys, that capital will be mine next time. So I'm going to have to wait for this siege to finish right over here, and then we're basically done with the war. At least this war. There we go. I don't really care about anything up north. You guys can deal with anything up north. I just care about this. Okay, there we go. And you guys are going to give me as much money as you can. Thank you. There we go. I don't even care what my aggressive expansion is. And now, oh my goodness, and now everyone, we have officially conquered a lot of Scandinavia. Next, uh, next, next episode, it is the, it is basically, well actually maybe two episodes from now, it will be the final, final war. I mean, it will literally be the end, you have no diplomats sent. What? Oh yeah, cancel that. It will literally, like seriously guys, it will literally be the war to end all wars. I will no longer have to deal with either Hodenstein, whatever. You, you guys can start your own alliance, whatever. I really don't, I really don't care. Has entered the military, okay, what, whatever. Whatever, I mean, honestly, do I care? No. You guys can do whatever you guys want. I'm not going to care even in the least bit. You guys can all go and destroy your guys' selves. I won't care. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just here because, you know what? I am here. Now, let's see. Your overexertion is too high. What? That might be a problem. If it's over 100, we're definitely in trouble. Over 50. Oh, shoot. Make as many cores as we can. <laughs> Oh shoot, that's really bad. Okay guys, that's a good way to end the episode. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, see you guys next time.